everyone. I'm Bethany Lozada. Thank you for joining me today on my podcast, Overcomers, where we talk about how to overcome life's difficulties with a friend, faith, and a cup of tea. Today, I'm drinking Earl Grey, which is a great alternative to coffee if you still need caffeine. I'm going to start off by giving a little bit of an introduction about myself to let you know who I am and why I'm doing this podcast. I think the best way to describe myself is by using a shoe analogy. If you were to ask me, Bethany, what kind of footwear would best describe you? I'd have to say slippers. Why slippers? Because I love to be comfortable. If it was my choice, I'd spend every day lounging around my house in sweats, no makeup, and my toes nice and cozy inside of my slippers. Maybe you're like me and you like to be comfortable too and slippers would describe you. Or maybe a different type of shoe. If you want to, post in the comments below and let me know what kind of footwear would best describe you and also what kind of tea you prefer. Going on the theme of being comfortable, the feeling that I want you to take away from this podcast is that you're having a conversation with a friend, that we're meeting here together, maybe in my living room or over a lunch or a hot cup of tea to talk about our difficulties in lives, what it is that we need to overcome, the lessons that we're learning, the trials we're going through. And I hope you can take away some life lessons for yourself to apply to your own life and to your families. The next question is, why this podcast and why now? Well, the only way I can answer that is by saying, it's about time. I've always had this desire to help other people, the hurting, the lonely, the struggling, the forgotten. That's what led me to get my master's in social work. But it wasn't until I experienced my own brokenness that I feel like I could truly understand and empathize with other broken people. Just over five years ago, my family went through its own crisis when my daughter had a life event that led to extreme anxiety. We were so overwhelmed, so overcome by what was going on in my daughter's life and how it was affecting my family. I had to look to my past education. I had to go and seek out professional help. And I had to work hard every day with my daughter so that she could learn to live a full life even with anxiety. Maybe you're not facing anxiety today and your struggle or mountain is um, financial difficulties or divorce, whatever it is, it's important that we have somebody to come alongside us to encourage us. I know what I wanted most during our crisis time was somebody who had already gone through what I was going through and could tell me, Bethany, it's going to be okay. You're going to make it to the other side. I want to be that friend to you, somebody to say, I know what it's like to walk through a dark valley, not have the answers, not knowing what it's going to look like on the other end. But I can tell you that God is faithful and he is still good. And with his help, you can overcome whatever it is that you're facing. Our first series is going to be entitled Overcome by Anxiety to Overcomer, A Mother and Daughter's Faith Journey Prevailing Through Anxiety. I hope to share some of our own life experiences and stories with you, ways that you can help your child combat anxiety, and biblical principles to apply to your parenting. I hope that you put on your comfy clothes and slippers, put on a hot cup of tea, and join me when we have our podcast about how we can overcome life struggles together. Today, I'm going to leave you with a scripture verse to encourage you and a prayer over you. Isaiah 43, one through three says, fear not for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Dear Father, today I ask you to encourage my friend that they would know that they are not alone, that you are in the fire with them and know them by name. I ask that you would give them endurance, guidance, and hope as they feel overcome and overwhelmed by what they are facing. Let them know that you are bigger and that you are a good God who loves them. 
Gracious Father, bless my friends. In your name, amen.